what's going on youtube i'm back again with another video for y'all man make sure you like comment subscribe and we gonna get right into it now this video is gonna be a video explaining to y'all what an age corp is and how it could boost out your funding crazy all right so what an age corp is well let's talk about a regular llc so a regular llc obviously is when you go file your entity with the secretary of state it might be through a third party like ink file or directly with your secretary of state or whatever but when you file that LLC, that means it's incorporated that date. So it's a fresh LLC. Uh, Age Corp is just a LLC uh, or a business entity that's been, you know, sitting for a while. Could be sitting for two, three, five, ten years. So this Age Corp has history to it. Now, for y'all that don't know, the banks and, you know, financial institutions, they see your LLC is more low risk the longer it's been established, all right? So when somebody's been in business for two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten 10 plus years, now it makes a little difference and the banks are willing to give you more funding just based off that, right? Just based off that. So usually how like when fresh LLCs, the funding you can get you know, with your personal, with your personal credit, personal guaranteeing the funding is usually just business credit cards. All right. But if you implement a uh, age corp that's been open like two years or longer, or you just let your LLC age out two years or longer, then you'll be able to get, you know, like actual lines of credit, right. Um, where you could just put it right to your business checking account and use it and pay it back. Right. So, you can have access to those lines of credit if you've been in business for two years plus. All right. So you can get business line of credit and a business credit card. And in a lot of in a lot of cases, it could be double dipping. So on one inquiry, right on one inquiry, you go get a business credit card, business line of credit. Right. You can't do that with a fresh LLC. You got to be in business for like two plus years on average. All right. So this is where these age courts can come in. Now, you're going to be dropping a bag on these age courts so it really depends on your financial situation on what you try to do all right but these age corps you're gonna be at least paying man minimum for age corp you're gonna be at least paying three four five thousand you know especially if it's very old minimum <laughs> right you could put could be like ten thousand for an age corp but if you know what you're doing with this age corp then it could be worth it Right. It could be working if it's going to get you some more bread so you can, you know, buy a business or get you some more bread to run this play, run that play, flip it or whatever. Right. So that's what an age corp is. All it is is the aged corporation. Right. It's literally that's the name. Age corporation, an LLC, whatever that's aged two years plus. All right. Because banks and financial institutions give you more funding based on how long, you know, that business has been registered. All right. So that's what an age corp is. Um, I made this video because I get a lot of questions and that's a question that I got. Like, what is the age corp? Why are people talking about age corps? This is that. So I just came over here to answer anybody's questions if they don't know what an age corp is, but it's definitely very useful if, um, you know, you know what you're doing. All right. Now that's my video for today, man. Uh, share this out with five, 10, 15 people. Um, you know, we almost at uh, 1700 subscribers. So I really do appreciate every single one of you guys. Um, we on the road to 10 K. So like I said, share this out with as many people as you can, but, uh, make sure you like comment, subscribe, and I'm going to see y'all in the next video.